Hi guys, welcome to Elizabeth's Kitchen. I'm here today because I want to show you how to make a white chocolate cream cheese buttercream that is delicious. You guys are going to love it. Um, so I have my ingredients here. I'm going to show you what you need and let's get to it. So what you're going to need for this frosting is 4 ounces or 2 thirds of a cup of chocolate. We're going to melt it. And it needs to be melted, but it needs to be cooled, okay, when you uh, put it in the mixer for to make the buttercream. One half teaspoon of vanilla extract, okay. We're going to need also one to two tablespoons of milk, okay, whole milk, very important, whole milk. And one and three-fourths of a cup of uh, confectioner sugar. We're also going to need three tablespoons, we're going to cut it right here, of butter, okay? And we're going to need five ounces of cheese cream. Six, five ounces, yeah. And so, this is six in ounces. It shows you right here, the little line. So, we're going to cut half of it, and this is going to make five ounces, okay? So this is the ingredients. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our hot, our, our chocolate to melt in a bowl. Okay. You're also going to need a bowl and water on the bottom so we can melt the chocolate. Um, people do it on the microwave. Uh, if you do it on the microwave, you do it in 15 minute increments. 15 seconds increments. I'm sorry. Um, and you mix and you... You mix it well every 15 seconds and you put it again. Uh, but I like to do it in the uh, here uh, because I find that it um, it melts better and you don't have to go back and forth to the to the microwave. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna melt our chocolate. Okay. So we're gonna put our our thing in high so that the there's water in here. The water's gonna uh, cook. And the chocolate is going to melt, okay? So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to put it in like medium high, okay? Okay, so here we have our melted chocolate. Okay, so we're going to put it on, a, on the side. Remember, it's very important we put it on the side, okay? To let it cool because it's hot. Very hot, so it needs to cool down enough or it not to melt the butter and the cheese cream. Okay? So what we're gonna do so that's what we're gonna do. Here's our melted chocolate. We're gonna let it cool down. Okay. See how it's all I used a very good aim. Uh, I used a very good uh, white chocolate because I want my buttercream to taste really good um, if you want that you can you need to get the a good white chocolate not just like any kind of white chocolate okay we're gonna leave it on a side for it to cool very important and we are gonna start mixing our butter and cream cheese okay Okay, so here we have our butter and our um, sa uh, sour cream, no, <laughs> cream cheese in room temperature. And we're going to lower our mixer and we're going to mix this. It's very important we mix it for about 7 minutes in high speed. So that in medium speed, okay. In medium speed, uh, because the trick is to get this very foamy and pale in color, okay? Once you see it turns to that color, um, then you can start adding the sugar and all the ingredients. The, the trick for very good buttercream is to leave this, the butter and the cream cheese.
this. We're going to give it a, um, a whisk. We are going to, with our spatula, get all through the sides. We still have butter that is not pale color on our sides. And we want to get everything in there, incorporate it. So we're going to go ahead and do it for a few more minutes. to water. 
powdered sugar. But what we're going to do, this is another trick. We are going to add our sugar little by little. The, small, the, the more small um, you add sugar at a time, the better. Um, it's going to get incorporated better. So I have, I have it already in my mind how much I have to put on. But you can use a, a, a tablespoon and about a tablespoon each time you put in. Don't put it in high speed because it will, you will get sugar all over you and all over your kitchen. sure we scrape all that and we take it to the middle okay at this point our our mix is a little still runny but we still have some more sugar to go in it and you can omit the, the milk part if you see that our your, your buttercream is a little bit runny to pipe
is very creamy, see? Uh, but I want, again, I said, if, if you see that you're, you want to make something and you want to have it more pipeable, you can add a little bit more sugar. Mine is pretty good, but I want to add a little bit more sugar to make it a little bit more thicker. Because I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to do Easter uh, cupcakes. And I'm going to show you, you know, why I want, I want it to get that, that thickness. So, I just use my, my eye and measure about half a cup. No, less than half a cup of a little bit of sugar.